Today we're looking at the coolest things that I've learned on TikTok. Here's some really cool iPad hacks. You can swipe between the different apps using four fingers. I actually have had an iPad for multiple years and never knew that, but why would I do that? Open an app and then drag one of the apps in the dock bar to one side of the screen. This will create a split screen. You can change- You can split screen on the iPad and I didn't know this for years? I literally use my iPad all the time to come up with ideas and brainstorm and like, whoa, I can split screen now? Your boy just went to the new late, new level. That was great. I can't even think it's so cool. Here's some websites that feel illegal to know. Okay. Are you tired of calling customer service yes. and not getting in contact with a real Yes. Person. Then go to this website. GetHuman.com. Type in the company you're trying to call. And then it will tell you what number to call and the fastest way to talk to a live person. Whoa, that is so useful. And I can guarantee you after I leave this TikTok, I will forget it, never use it, and not even try to use it in the future. I don't call people enough to need this, but still cool. Is that like a mask thing? <laughs> that's kind of cool. That's sweet. I, I don't own one of those. I just have like the normal boring mask. But that's kind of sweet. It baffles me how many people don't even know about this. Like we used to do this back in the days with any type of metal object. Pin, what? paper clip, foil, wire hanger. Listen, no signal. Boom. Nah. Come on, man. Y'all showing y'all age right now. This is stuff that we grew up doing. This is how we used to live. Like I just don't understand how that's possible. I think I used to do that with a coat hanger. I have this vague memory of doing that, but I feel like this doesn't work. Me faking my lights so I can fit in with the cool TikTok kids. Wait, that's cool though. What are you faking? Oh, you're just trying to get purple lights. <laughs> That's actually funny. It works so well though. I love that. Windows plus R? Man, I don't know. Is that like a thing I should actually do? Should I do, should I do this right now? Windows R, control A, control D. I'm gonna do it. I, sh I feel like I shouldn't. I'm gonna do it though. Windows R, percent temp percent. Oh God, we have so many. This goes all the way back to March 20th. I don't know if I just deleted things that I should have. How much are we getting rid of here? A gigabyte? Okay, so a lot of them couldn't be done and it's okay because I don't even know what Adobe Vulcan is. I honestly don't know if that was a bad deal, but it was about a gigabyte of free memory. So if my computer dies, hey, it was this TikTok. An actual life hack. Don't need paper towels. Go to an auto parts store and buy shop towels. They're a thousand times better and they're cheaper and they can actually hold up underwater as well. I, I feel like they're not cheaper, to be honest with you, my dude. That, <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are like five or 10 bucks a roll. I could get like 20 rolls for that price so i i don't know pdf file and see that it ends in exe <laughs> it is a virus i mean it's not wrong to be honest with you that will probably be a virus yeah good tip if anyone doesn't know this you're probably like older than 30. chick-fil-a combo here's how to do it hi can i get a chicken tender kids meal i had a bun i had pickles yeah i feel weird ordering at starbucks all right they know what you're doing like you go to starbucks and people get like can i get a cup of ice and then another cup and then mix them no this just feels weird because they know what you're doing and i couldn't do it full fries a lemonade no ice and can I get a vanilla ice cream instead of the toy? You open what? it up, you oh, add your pickles, you add your chicken, boom. Okay. Now you have a budget Chick-fil-A sandwich, a side of waffle fries, a drink, and a dessert, all for $5. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty cheap, to be honest with you. But, um... It's so much to remember and the social anxiety you'd get from doing it. Like, I just couldn't do it. It'd be weird. I do. I always wake up feeling tired. Let me guess. All right. You didn't sleep for eight hours. You're not using the 90-minute rule. 90-minute rule? What's that? Every night, our brain sleeps in 90 minutes. Dude, I literally obsess over sleep. So, like, if this dude's wrong, I will call him out. Because I know a lot about sleep. Cycles. Yeah, so what? Waking up at the end of a cycle will make you feel most refreshed. He's not so wrong. how can I do yeah. that? First, decide when you want to wake up. Then, and then wake up. back in 90 minute blocks. And finally, find the closest- I mean, he's not wrong. Like, it's called sleep inertia. And if you, like, wake up and set your alarm and then, like, go back to sleep and then wake up, like, after- 10 minute snooze you're back in a sleep cycle and you're gonna feel like snooze for the next like two hours like it's a legit thing this is real i'll give it to him here's a hack you wish you know sooner what is this take sh what is this what is it this? this is like a why is this roller so weird is that soap cleans and makes your wall smell nice oh wait that's a good idea i clean mine with a rag and there's like freaking smear marks all over my wall and i'm like i guess that's how i'm gonna live life forever i don't know how to get rid of it what the heck is pseudo cream is this something that i should know antiseptic healing cream i could use that on my chap lips right now look at this nasty thing you put it on your eyebrow? My I dumb. I've never heard of this. Everyone apparently has it though. How to deal with toxic family. Boy, I could use this one when we got here. Thanksgiving. I brought cookies. Wow, you really gained some weight. Hope you save some cookies for the rest of us. Uh, do me a favor and don't bring up your LGBT stuff tonight, okay? They don't know that I know this hack. <laughs> he just leaves. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty funny. Do we all have toxic families? Like at least one or two people in them? Or is that like, is that not, is that not normal? Please tell me. I took up butter carving and I'll be bringing to Thanksgiving. That's all I'm bringing since it takes so long. Oh, that's smart. 
Wow. Do you know how cool your people are gonna want proof now? Like, if you come up with butter carving, I'm gonna be like, why don't you carve this then? Make me a fish, you know? Know that the apples you buy from the grocery store have paraffin wax on. That's what people say, and I feel like that's probably true. But I've never scraped it off. Isn't that weird? This wax is used to make apples look shiny. And I like that. They're not shiny and fresh, but it makes them look like they are. Wow. But it can also increase the chance of cancer. I don't know that it increases cancer, but I also don't know that it doesn't. I mean, to be honest with you, I feel like everything increases cancer. So it could. It very well could. You said I can have one sandwich. You said specifically, you're on a diet, can have one sandwich. Yeah. What is that? One sandwich. It's one loaf of bread is what one it is. It's one loaf of bread is what it is. I wondered why I got fat. And then I look back at it and I remember I used to make quadruple decker peanut butter and jellies. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't surprise me anymore. What noodles? Okay, where's your pot noodles? In my hand. No, sorry, what is that? This is a pot noodle. Mm, it's absolutely not a pot noodle. Bring it here. It's a pot noodle. Put it He's right, it is a pot noodle. noodle. Yes. Yeah? It's about 5,000 percent Wow, it's even full. It's a pot noodle. It's not a pot noodle. <laughs> what are they? Noodles. And what is this? That is amazing, but I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're a young child with a high metabolism, I'm not gonna recommend it, but you should have at least one triple or quadruple decker PB and J. I think it's worth it. It's like a it's like a bucket list. I didn't advise that though. If you die from it, it's not my fault. Going undercover to get the attention my husband gets daily. Oh, from my look cat. at that. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Look at this cat. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. Dude, that's so funny. I love when cats like love you like that. It's just the most wholesome thing ever. I wish I had a cat. Easiest pumpkin carving hack. I mean, this one will come in handy in 2022, folks. I don't know about this year. Get a cookie cutter. Why would you do this? This defeats the purpose of carving flesh, pumpkins, you loser. At it. Press through using the other side of the mallet. I like to jazz it out with some gloss. Rust old. Some what? I'm not sure the gloss was necessary addition here, Barbara. But cool design. I wish I had a mouth though. It'd be kind of sweet. How McDonald's food works. McRib. Am I the only one that like isn't like crazy for the McRib? Like it's good. I had it as a kid. I never had it since. Like it's it's all right. Is it actually like this good? Like I don't know. It's about how you'd expect it to look. I mean I don't know. It doesn't look that bad to be honest. I'm here for it. I think it's fine. Is this supposed to be gross me out? Because it doesn't. I don't know. It's like got the timer. You got the nice buns. Like it's actually making my mouth water a little bit here today, folks. I didn't know they heated the buns up. Yo. Now I want one of these. A little more onion though, please. Extra pickles. Two pickles? All right, those are big pickles. I'll, I'll be okay with that. The barbecue station here, it takes a little... It's not the most appetizing look I've seen, but I ain't gonna lie to you. That's probably busted. Why do they do it upside down? Somebody's worked at McDonald's. Why y'all do it upside down? I always see that in these. What is this hack? So what people don't know is this little box right here, you yep. open it. What? And there's fuses in there. And these bags that people don't care about have fuses in there. So you put this in here. Whoa. So your lights can work. That's actually crazy. Yo, that's cool. I bought some Christmas lights this year and I threw the bag away because I thought I don't need that. Wow, that sucks. Three easy home hacks you'll wish you tried earlier. Place a cotton ball with essential oil under your bin liner to repel odors. That's actually not a bad idea. But like if you have a trash can that smells so bad for so long that you need to be like smelling it good with oils, then I think it's just time to change the trash. You know what I mean? Shaving cream to buff mirrors? Just use a freaking mirror cleaner. What the heck? Okay, now this one I could use because my shower is a little bit disgusting right now. I'll be honest with you. I would not be happy showing you how bad it looks. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe. We're almost 2 million. Let's go. Peace.